Liam, obviously very frustrating to take, but why do you think that scoreline happened to us? Poor goals. Poor goals we gave away. You give poor goals away in any game, you get punished. And we, the ref gives a penalty, he's offside to begin with, and it's a tough one on Corey because it's really hard for him to get his hand out of the way. So we go one down, and then we show again brilliant resilience, brilliant character, brilliant quality, get two goals up. And then, and then second half, the game seemed to, they put them, they were very energetic team, and the game seemed to die at the right time for us and we had control of the game. And then it's a shot from nowhere, Ryan's gone down, I think he's hurt his back as he's gone down to try and save it, so luck's not with us, it's a poor goal from our point of view, from outside the box. And then the third one, just another, we, we've, we've gift, we just gifted them a goal. You know, it took a deflection, it's a hard one to save, but it should never get to that position. Um, and it's, a, it's another one where we just have to learn from. You know, like, it's really frustrating because that would be, we had a great opportunity to win three in a row. You know, and our performance overall was very, very good away from home against a good side. Um, but what we have to do is we have to get back to the drawing board, we've got to get back on that plane, we've got to get back home, rest up, and we've got a fantastic game against Sunday on Boxing Day. It's a tough one to take, um, but this is the championship, and if we need to learn our lessons, because it's a self-inflicted defeat today, and that's the one that really, really hurts. Yeah. Um, a couple of players who will be hurting after that game because of injuries. One was Aaron, who looked, he looked, he looked like he wanted to come off. He was gesturing. Yeah, no, we, we, we saw him at half time. He took a whack on his ankle really early. Um, he went down off, off, a, off a challenge, and then we just, it just, it's cold, so his, his ankle stiffens up and it's hard enough for him to run off. But even then, he was still such a threat. Uh, in behind, he caused them a lot of problems with his energy and his pace and his movement. Um, but yeah, he, he's, he's struggling. Obviously, Ryan's struggling with his back. I think that happened when he went down for the second goal. Um, so yeah, we're, look, we've, I've said all along it's going to take a squad. Every single club's going to go through this now in this period. We've got three games now, I think, in nine days. We have to rest, recover, go again and, and enjoy the challenge of, of what we're facing. Positive-wise, even though we've lost tonight, as you've alluded to, there was control in that game for a large part. Control in every game that like we're playing and, then, and we're a good side. But good sides win games and, and it's a really frustrating one. If, you know, fair play to Bristol, they kept going, they had a lot of energy, a lot of desire, they played they played forward, they, they tested our, our back four, the back four on the whole defended well even though we conceded three goals. Just moments we gave we gave away and but for those moments we, we every game we play we look a good side. But there's no point being a good side and not getting the points at the end of it. We have to make that next step. Consistent performances need to lead to consistent results. Well exact I won't ask for exact quotes, but what the players said to each other. That's quiet. Um, I, I've literally, I, I don't want them to to focus too much on this this one. It's about focusing on the next one. We have to win the next game. You know, that's the championship. Pick yourself up and you go again. And we certainly showed that in the last two games before we came here. So it's more about how we go into what's going to be a great game against someone on Boxing Day. How we get what team we pick, the energy we need on the pitch. And look, saying that, a lot of good, good individual performances today. So yes, it's a hard one to take but we, we have to be resilient and move on. Well, you know this place, it's, it had great energy tonight and that's the same energy that can be replicated for that match that's coming up exactly. on Exactly, it's, it's going to be brilliant, full house uh, against a very good team um, and we need that stadium rocking and still what we can't do is allow these setbacks in the road to hold us back or let our confidence go down. You know? So we just need to step up to the plate, looking forward to seeing how we react and then go again. Halfway through the season, 36 points. <laughs> I'm not going to ask for specific numbers unless you want to say, but what do you think it's going to take to get into the top six numerically? I have no idea. I don't really care about the hyper course. We just need to win the next game. That's why that's the message I've given to the players. We've set our own targets about what we can achieve this year. Halfway through the season, is it possible? For sure. You know, we want to be in and around that top six. So a lot of positive signs, a lot of positive steps. I've got a really good group. Again, I can't fault them in terms of their energy, their application, their desire. Um, just what we just fell the wrong side of a defeat that we didn't deserve today. First ch chance I've had to say to you, what's Billy Sharp apart from experience and goals? What, what else is he going to bring potentially to that dressing room? Because he's, he's, an, old, he's an older player. He's, he's, he's going to bring experience and goals, you yeah. said it. So he's, he's, that's why we brought him to the club. Uh, obviously, I've got Aaron scores an outstanding goal today. I thought Liam Delap was a threat again from a wide area and then we went, when he went to number nine. So I've got three outstanding strikers for this level and I'm really happy to have him at the club.